My name is Amy Ewing. I'm the UK Director at the Zacharias Trust and this is a series of devotions in the build-up to Easter. Love's Unveiling In the Garden Jesus says, My Father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. Jesus suffered the agonies of the cross in part to identify with us. Allow him to speak to you, not as some far distant deity, but the one who's able to grasp the pain in your life experience. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane and he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you keep watch with me for one hour, he asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come, and the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. We're given a devastating insight into the nature of the cross here as Jesus prays in the garden. The overwhelming sorrow is so powerful that Jesus speaks of it bringing him to the point of death. As he prays face down in the garden, he asks that the cup be taken from him. This cup is a symbol of deep sorrow and suffering as he carries the weight of the world's evil upon him. Jesus' suffering is more than physical. He's sacrificing himself drinking the cup of judgment on our behalf at the cross. This must have been a terrifying prospect, even for the one who was fully God and fully man. It brings Jesus to his knees in desperation and horror. This is a cup that only he can drink. And at a point where he most craves human companionship, he faces death alone. The disciples can't keep awake. So in response, spend a few moments meditating on that cup that Jesus was prepared to drink for you and me, dwelling on the phrase he prayed, may your will be done.